YouTube, this is Nick here and welcome to my new tutorial. This tutorial is going to be on how to copy files from your local computer to your remote server. In this case, I'll be copying a file from my MacBook Pro to my Raspberry Pi, which is running, um, this one is running Jesse Lite, which is another form of Ubuntu, which is a distro of a Linux. So let's get started. So first I'm going to create a file to send over. I'm going to call this one, um, dummy file one dot txt I'm just gonna press enter and we'll type in something in here does this work for YouTube all right and I'm gonna do control C to close that out and what I want to do next is the command to copy files over remotely is SCP space Whatever the file name is, if you are copying files from another directory, you will have to put in the, um, the absolute file path, not the relative file path. So we're going to, since we're already in this directory, we do not have to specify a file path at all. And I'm just going to say um, dummy file onetxt And then we're going to type in the username of the remote server at the IP address. If the remote server is on the exact same internal network, you to use the internal IP address. If it's on an external network, you use the external IP address, except port forwarding does have to be turned on in order for this to work correctly. And we'll, that is what I'm using. Colon, so we have username at IP address right here. And then the colon after this is the path where you want the document saved or the file save. I am saving it as at the root drive or the root of the home of this user. So I will use the tilde sign and then do forward slash and press enter. And then for the password, it's whatever password you are using for that server. And as you can tell, the um, file copy over. And just to make sure, sanity check to make sure it's copied over and the data's in there, we're just gonna SSH into that server. Type the password again. All right, and I'm gonna do ls to see the files that are on this root drive. And as you can tell, this sign right here, the tilde sign, exact same one that I did put it in. And since this is the user that I chose, it put it in that folder of that user. And as you can tell, the dummy file one dot text file is there. And there, from here, just to make sure the data's in there, I'm just gonna do a nano, and then open up that file. And as you can tell, does this work for YouTube? All the data's in there, file transferred over correctly. So this is how you will transfer files over from a local server or local computer to a remote computer. If you wanted to copy over more files, let's say you had a folder full of MP3s, for example, it's also possible by doing like SCP. And then if you were to use, let's say the star sign dot MP3, it will copy over any files that end in the mp3 format to this folder all right and that's it for this tutorial and if this video helped you please like subscribe and comment and if you have any questions or any future videos you would like me to make just send me a message on youtube or any of the other social media sites in the description